Okay, so today we are going to be talking about combat because I tried combat and oh my gosh, it's insane. So first thing, let me get this because I recently just did a little cocoa bean contest, which wasn't even close because no one participates because everyone literally just has sugarcane farms. So it was really not that difficult. Let me just get rid of all of this cash note. And by the time this video is up, map, whatever map we're in, what map are we? 8? Yeah, map 8. I think that's what 8.0 means at least. Uh, should be done. Yeah, map 8 should be done. And yeah, this is just a little way to prep you for, I guess, map 9. But we got two more villager spawners from breaking cocoa beans, which is actually insane. So, combat. Combat is actually insane. I thought farming was good. Like, it is. Like, really good. This is really good. Just this farm alone, uh, you can probably get a couple billion. Or it, you can even just make your whole um, island sugarcane and have a little mob farm. And you can get away with it. If you have the max number of members, five, and you just have five people doing, like, five plots of sugarcane farm, like this... You're gonna be set, but combat, like once you're settled in with essence at least, and you're at least level 10 because all the good stuff is at level 10 right here. So yeah, you're gonna enjoy combat. Like combat itself, the skill grinding, not too fun, I guess, because you're just, you know, just left clicking and yeah, that's basically all you're doing, but you can make so much money, and which is part of the reason why I have 8 billion on me right now. I had more, but I spent it, and it's all because of this, this pet candy right here. This thing makes an insane amount of money on the auction house, and all of them are gone. Okay, I wasn't expecting them to be gone, but... Each of these stacks, a stack of 64, I was selling them, because I saw some other guy selling it, I was selling them for 3 billion, yep, 3 billion a stack, which is pretty good, and this alone, like, if you have a decent, like, spawner farm and a decent amount of villagers, which is still not that hard to get, you do farming, you're gonna get a ton of villager spawners. Yeah, you do farming, you're going to get a ton. And it's not even that difficult also. So let me just quickly do this. Let's see how fast it takes until... I... Oh, there we go. See how much I broke? I was about to say, how long is it going to take till I get a spawner? Not even a villager spawner specifically, just a spawner. But yeah, I didn't even break half a row. So... Yeah, you can get a lot of villager spawners from that. And you also get a bunch of fragments from entering competitions and on and all that. But that's besides the point. Competitions give you like, what, 15 fragments? That's actually a good chunk. So, get out your mob sword. And the reason why I say villagers is not because of the AH, but also because of the shop. You go to minerals, these guys drop emeralds. Each of these things... So for 375 each. And compared to like diamonds, which I think is a snowman. Um and any other drop. And they don't sell for much. They really don't. Now getting something like zombie, skeleton, those things are the easiest ones to access. But yeah, they don't make as much money. So let me go to the shop again. Go to the black market, which is another reason why I was doing combat just buy a bunch more villager spawners we'll just put them down here okay now let's see how much I can make for one auto cell is this ready no well you can see how many drops I'm getting I'm going to show you my enchants but let me just 
flick my life away here because I am gonna break my mouse. Honestly, I was worried about I was gonna break my mouse for a few times, but I'm kind of glad they were able to handle it. You can also get a bunch of keys from doing this, the good keys, not the grind keys that you get from farming. I don't know if you can hear my mouse, but yeah, that's, a, that's actually insane. Just doing one hand, holding it with one hand, and using my other hand to click with two fingers. And there we go, auto sell. 11 million, I've gone up to 30 million per auto sell, which is a lot. It really is a lot. And I have the skeleton set, which is an enchant proc boost. So that's insane too. And here is my stats. On level 19, nothing special. But the ones that I found the most important is, of course, candy. That is the big one. Candy is the best. Um, of course, you need the strength, haste, sharpness, or whatever. Those are the first ones you're obviously going to be getting. Uh, these ones you don't need as much because I don't really, they don't give that much. Unless the more you boost them, the more they give. And by all means, just keep getting it. This one and this one, money and essence investor. Very important. You need your money and essence. So, yeah. Emerald already sells are pretty high. Money investor boosts that. Um, what else can boost that? Enchant proc booster to make it, you know, better. Looting to make you have more drops. Spawners so you can get more spawners, obviously. Mob smasher so you can kill multiple mobs. I think you saw before where I would just click a few times and like 300 of them would disappear. Um, it doesn't proc that often, but it's good enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna try until I proc it. What is this? Um, okay, cool. We'll take that. But look at this. Mining competition, nobody entered. The ones that you really need, the only skills you really need based on what I've been seeing and doing is combat and farming fishing let's be honest who does fishing if anyone plays arcadia and actually does fishing just please tell me i want to know if there's someone who actually grinds out fishing and mining mining too because i really don't know if there's anyone who grinds out mining but combat and farming those are the big ones because farming is the way you're going to start you make a bunch of money you make these side farms i still I'm still surprised that no one does this. You just make a, a small plot like this. A little, just four of these. And, or even more. If you want to. But you just make a small little plot like this. And you'll be winning farming competitions. It's not that difficult. If you can make all this. And they just auto build for you anyway. So it doesn't even take that long. So... These guys, they're the most important one for skeletons. You should probably buy a bunch of skeleton spawners just so you can get um, the skeleton shards. Um, zombies, I did it for the zombie set, which gives more essence, I believe. Yeah, essence. I was trying to get the villager set because this was piling up. So, yeah, it's not that good. But it's okay. So yeah, combat. This is insane. 30 mil from this. And you'll be getting pet candy every once in a while. Like, how often until I get a pet candy? I know it doesn't proc that often. Which is the point. But it doesn't take that long. So you can arguably make... 3 billion in like maybe an hour. Hour and a half-ish. And that's actually a really good bunch you can also get a bunch of keys for more money. The good keys too, up to goddess keys. And make more money there. Get more spawners there. Also, you get robots. Like, more robots. This is actually insane. Collect all. Oh yeah. 
That is insane. I do have a bunch of money in Essence Robots from doing competitions and all that stuff. So that's another benefit. But yeah, combat. Once you're settled in with farming, you're making a good amount of Essence, you're making a good amount of money, go for a combat. Prioritize. Let's look at my enchants. Of course, get all your sharpness and haste and stuff. But once you can get the pet uh, candy, go for that. Because you're going to be making a ton of money. So the candy, you want at least every enchant to one. For some reason, just having it at one, they will proc pretty often. They will activate rather often. And, well, you're just going to be profiting from it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But it's insane how much money you can make. And just an example of the keys. What is my key enchant? Key radar, only one. And keep in mind, I've been opening keys already. Like before. And look at this. I have 40, which I would arguably have over 100. If I didn't open any. Same thing for Spartan and Helios. And this one. That's how often it goes. I have 66 of these right now. That's how often you get goddess crates. Which is insane. And I am kind of curious though. Why does this say tier 4? I, I, thought, I always thought goddess was the best one. But yeah. Goddess ones. Pretty common. These ones. Pretty common too. And... Well, it is the end of the map, so it's not surprising that people are not doing the competitions anymore. But look at that. I got another robot. So doing competitions, definitely worth it. Just let me get rid of all of this stuff, because I don't really need them anymore. So yeah, money robot. Insane. But prioritize the pet candy. Um, of course, do your money and essence investing. Enchant proc boost and looting. But overall, just put at least one on every enchant. You'll be making a good amount of money and essence. Same thing for this, same thing for this and this. But I don't do mining or fishing. So at least one. Like, look at this airstrike is just that one that activates way too often so yeah it activates really often and it's only level one rampage activates really often too it's actually insane how common they are spawner is only four and you saw how fast i got a single spawner so yeah let me open these crates before i end off because i do have a bunch of them Okay, not too bad. Now next time, I am still going to be in map 8. But uh, next time, I'm just going to be burning through all my money. Because why not? Okay, let's grab this. Cow spawner, sheep spawner. Okay. A bunch more stuff. We get more robots. Look at that. We're getting more robots. I think this was here already though. So, but I do think you can get robots from the crates. So let me just put all this away. Go with the crates again. Yeah, you can get robots. Look at that. Essence robot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Put all this away. Um, we have a bunch of spawners to place down. Okay, now we just need this that I have 72 of. Oh my gosh. My inventory got filled. Um, I need to get rid of all this. But look at all this stuff we got. And this is just from literally just killing mobs. Kill mobs, you get all this stuff. 
for free. It's for free. You basically don't have to do anything aside from spam left click. Like, move every once in a while because they will despawn. And have, like, YouTube on the side. Watch something. Listen to something. Listen to music. Do anything. It's really not that difficult. Same thing for farming. I think that's why those two are the most popular skills. But look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh. I don't need these anymore. But blaze spawner, sheep spawner, zombie spawner, witch spawner, cow, more blaze, more blaze, skeleton. Yeah, we made a bunch of money here. So at all, we're upping our island value. Iron golem. There we go. I don't know if we got any villagers. No. But we did get skeletons. There we go. Of course your whole goal is to get as much island value as you can. So you should do that. And with like this, with all this, combat and farming, and of course team members, you can do it. You really can. You really can make top three. I made however much money I did with a very minimal effort. And I'm invested also because I don't have much time to spend on this, sadly. But I still managed to make it this far. So if you want to play, then go ahead, find yourself a good team and grind out farming and combat. And you should be good. So for now, we'll end it here. And we'll see you next time when I basically burn through all my money and see how much I ended with.